So welcome to another video about my telescope. Today what I want to do is make some upgrades to the base so that transporting it becomes easier. The first thing I've done is put some rubbers here. Those you can be found from IKEA so that when the optical tube assembly falls down it doesn't hit the hard wood but it has some cushion. The next thing what I want to do I received this from AliExpress today. Can I have a look at the picture, exactly the type of wheels that we're going to use. And I want to install this at the bottom of the base. Now, as I will be disassembling the base again, I might as well uh, lubricate it with some soap. That's a very old trick that makes the movement of the base a whole lot smoother. So let's get down to it. Let's disassemble the base. Now what we want to do is have two fixed wheels right here and the last one is the turning wheel and also has a brake. Now this one will come right here somewhere at the front or maybe this will be the back. I don't know yet which one will be better. So after a little bit of drawing and measuring, I think I have figured out the positions of the wheels so that they are exactly in a nice triangle. Okay, last one to go. Let's pull this aside a while. Since I have my dog disassembled, I will do the soaping. And the easiest way to do it is to do it right across the track that the platform path are traveling. This should greatly improve the movement from side to side. Okay, I think that should do it. There we have it, upgrade complete. Now the only problem this will be is when you turn the scope, it may oops. Now the only problem we have here is when you will be turning the scope around, it will be traveling on the wheels. So I will need to figure out some way on how to block the wheels when the scope is in place and I'm ready to observe. So if we have a look at the completed base, these two are static. You cannot turn them at all. And this one is the one which allows us to change directions and the nice thing about it, it also has a brake. So when it's engaged, it will not turn at all. Okay. Now let's give it a test drive, complete it with the optical tube assembly. Yes, it becomes mobile, but then it becomes a bit difficult to fix it into place when you're up uh, and observing. Now we may need to fix this wheel because it's the only one that moves. We have a brake, but still it goes left and right, so we need to fix it some more. I got an idea last night. You may recognize this. I have two of these and usually they are used uh, for the cell phone in the eyepiece. But if I do this, And there we have it, my Dobson is now fully mobile and I can observe outside anytime I want with very little effort. See you next time!